Alright, so what is going on everyone, my name is Ace, welcome back. Here's another special video for some very breaking news, I'd say. Um, but this new feature is coming out about uh, the 5 star re recruitment exclusive exchange voucher, which will allow you to actually recruit for free uh, a 5 star. Now, this ex exchange is part of an exchange voucher, not a recruit, but it's related to recruits. And this is what we'll be talking today. It dropped around two, two hours ago. Um, I gotta make this video very quick because I gotta go somewhere. So, yeah. Uh, some news has been dropping about the Scotty banner. Siege, Texas Province Inspector. Next week uh, on the shop, we'll have Siege and Province. I think. Yeah, Siege and Province. Or it's Scotty and Province. I know Province is in there. But I don't know who's the other one. Uh, maintenance and stuff, uh, CC0 is going to drop, but mostly we're going to be talking about this. Look, this is the main thing. So, a new system has under preparation. Uh, you can get up to two 5 star recruitment exclusive exchange vouchers as rewards for performing a certain amount number of recruits. By using the item, you recruit one operator from the provider operators. Stay tuned. So, how will, how will this work precisely? You'll get an exchange voucher. We've seen these before, but they're only available, I'm pretty sure, on the certificate shop. Yeah, the certificate shop on the second part of the shop, not the first one, the second part. You can buy a three star uh, exclusive uh, exchange voucher or a four star one. Now, let me say those are dog shit. Yeah, let's just say it blankly. Never spend your stuff on those. I suggest going buy material, materials because. Grinding for material will spend you a lot of sanity, so yeah, um, it would be more worth buying the materials, like the E2 materials, the deluxe kind of stuff, you know. And then, um, probably the tickets, that's what I'd say, if you've bought everything, you probably will, so I can't give you any like tips and stuff. So, tickets are next, because tickets are very expensive, I know you can buy two tickets for the price of a bunch of materials, but like, that's two summons, and the amount of sanity you're actually spending for grinding materials and maxing out your units, compared to like just buying two tickets, two summons, it ain't really much because you get like three singles a week, from like almost three singles a week, from uh, annihilation. Yeah. Now let's check this out. How will we be able to get these exchange vouchers? Now, from what I've heard, I'm not sure. I just seen around being discussed and stuff. I'm pretty sure you can only get one of the exchange vouchers after recruiting 300 times. Now I know that will be a lot. 300 recruits. Wow, that's a lot. But seeing how you can recruit, I don't know, like two times a day, two to three times, two times, yeah, because you want to reach a nine-hour mark always. Don't ever go for lower. So yeah. Um, I don't know, you can reach the re um, you can reach it pretty fast, because, what's, um, uh, 37, 75 days, if you're, no, because you be recruiting for, uh, two times a day, so that's like, how much is it, 75, 2, that's, 37.5 or 37 and a half days so in around a month you'll be able to get this exchange voucher one one of them of course i think it's one for 300 recruits if it's two that's great then but that's besides the only point like you need to be doing your recruits daily that's pretty obvious i'm talking about 37 and a half days when you're not using like the red tickets i don't know i remember the name but when you use those tickets, you're actually able to speed up your recruits, so that can work too. And then, um, what do I want to talk about? What US will, will be here, as we see from the shadows, or from what we, uh, they have put down uh, on the picture, it's going to be Vulcan and Indra. Now, Vulcan, I've heard is pretty good. I've seen a lot of people build her. Not the best, but she's good. I don't know much about Indra, to be honest. I've never used Indra, and I haven't seen people use her a lot. But I don't think she's that bad. Though I do recommend going for Vulcan. I'll be opening uh, a page a bit and we'll be seeing what each of them do. 
uh, seeing them together, I will give my opinion. As you know, I'm not the most experienced in this game, but let's hope I'm a little bit right because I can't imagine like them putting super bad five stars because even on the four star tickets, there are some good four stars, but they're extremely free to play, which is the point there. You don't need to spend your certificates to get these four star operators that are so easy to get. And don't get me started on the three star ones. Like, you would most be hunting for dupes. I don't imagine someone just missing out on four stars and five stars. Maybe some four stars you might not have, but I don't think you'll be missing out on five stars. Like, I've seen people don't have Myrtle and stuff, which I completely agree on. Myrtle is recent four star, which is not on the, like, exchange valuator, so no. It's more of like the original or the extremely free to play ones so yeah um let's hop in let's see what each of these two units do i'm pretty sure vulcan is a worse version of ko bay like she, uh, vulcan does similar things to ko bay but ko bay is like a caster and vulcan is like a defender i think i haven't seen the units he used before so yeah let's hop in Okay, so we're here at Vulcan. Um, she's pretty cute. Um, as a waifu, I'll sh I'd be sure like you can go ahead. E2 are pretty damn good. Uh, she's a melee defender, tags are survival, defense, DPS. As you know, the normal potential stuff. Uh, trust uh, buffs are 400 HP and 50 attack. She's good for the factory. And then first talent, uh, self defense. Well, skill is active, recover 4% uh, max HP for every second. That's not bad, that's good actually, 4%. But based on the skill, actually, so we'll be seeing how much commonly we'll be able to activate the skill. It upgrades in the uh, potential 5 it upgrades to 5%. Then, while well, skill uh, is active on E2, recover 4% max HP every second and gain 25%. Melee physical evasion. Huh, that's okay. Uh, and goes to 30% and 5% HP heal at potential 5 E2. It's not bad, it's pretty good. Uh, let's check out the first skill. Of course, skill level 7. There we go. Uh, block out plus 1, defense plus 90%. Additionally, recover 4% max HP every second. Wait, so if it says 4% on the skill, and our talent is recovers 4%. Does that mean she recovers 8%? Or is it just 4% and it's set on the talent and like skill? I'm gonna guess it's the second one because 8% every second? I don't think so. No offense, well, this is a skill I've seen people use the most. So yeah, let's check out what it does. So here, black out minus one. Uh, slightly increased attack interval plus 0.4 seconds. Uh, attack plus 105% every attack recovers 7% max HP. Attack multiple enemies equal to block count. Damn, if the talent is work with this the first one that I said. Wait, SP cause initial HP plus 7. So 20. And here, I go to you. Oh, so you're not gonna wait for a lot. She's okay. She's good. She heals a lot. That block minus one uh, to trade for more damage, more healing. I guess it's okay. Like I'd rather run a strong guard than her. Like strong guard and Quora than run her. To be honest. Or I'd rather run a defend because if it's gonna be a defender that's two block, I'd rather run someone like Sarier or way more of a power defender. Like Hoshiguma, because Hoshiguma's gonna have three block, and she doesn't need to trade, I believe, I don't remember, but she does a lot of damage on the skill three too. I know she's a six star, but focus is five star, so she's good. She's definitely good. I have to say, I have to say this again. I'm not very experienced with this stuff, but from what I can see, if I wanted her, I'd take her. Let's hop into Endra. Endra, Endra. Oh boy. Um, five star guard. Let's see here. E2. Pretty cool art. Um, the normal stuff for potentials is a DPS survival guard. I can block only one enemy. Is she an upgraded version of like 
Lantha? Maybe. Uh, trust attack plus 75, she's good for like buttons and thing. Uh, the clue factory, whatever. Uh, has 50% chance to evade like the talent, Tiger Fist. On E1 level 1, um, has 50% chance to evade melee physical attacks. As for successful evade, next attack has 80% attack power, 80% more attack power. Then at potential 5 goes 18% to evade, 30% on E2 level 1, and goes to 100% attack power more, then it's 33. So at E2, she'll be decently usable. No, because that talent will be on all the time. She'll be good. Yeah, and just good. Like if you don't have any other, I don't know, guard. Imagine how common 6 star guards on the, in this game, and how powerful they are, like, she's on the same category as Chen, I think, we'll see their skills, I think she is, does she get healed, so maybe she's like, no no, no no, yeah, I think it's the same category as Chen, because Chen blocks one unit, I'll have to check, but, and seeing as she how competes with so many 6 star guards, man, she's good, but she's got competition. Like, if you don't have a 6 star guard, you should, you should go for her. But still, having a lot of love will help you to clear most of the stuff in the game, so yeah. I got to like 6 5, 6 5, and I've been using Melanth all the time. Yeah, sure, I've had Silver Ash E2, but I don't know. Uh, I don't... Okay, sure. Skill number one, armor crashing fist. Uh, SP charge type by attacking the enemy. Okay, next attack deals 110 uh, damage. Uh, and of course, 45% defense. Okay, that's skill level 7. So she needs 110 percent more. She, like that's the first skill. We're we're, we're interested on this one. Uh, SP turn time for second. SP cost 50, so 50 seconds. Every round is to time speed 25 seconds. Good. Uh, attack plus 45 percent. Change damage to type to magical damage. Every attack recovers HP equal to 10 percent of damage dealt. Huh. She's very good. I have to say she's. Pretty good, but she competes with a lot of other six stars. Well, uh, as you check on here, what should I recommend you guys to go for Indra or Vulcan if you get them one day? I don't know. Honestly, if you don't have a good defender, uh, like let's say your best defender is Korra or something like that, sure, go for Vulcan. But like, how much she competes with the stuff of Koshiguma? Like, hell, I'd, r I'd rather run Lescar over Vulcan to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah. I don't run this card. But that's just about me. If you like Vulcan, she's your wife, we'll just go for it. And same goes for Indra. Uh if you like Indra it's just like what our waifu, go for it. And I'm saying Vulcan is more of like worth worth I guess because of how popular six star guards are. Like, you're gonna be seeing guards similar to Indra very, very commonly. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of you at least have a 6-star guard, because of how many there are. Like, how, which do we have? Not in the same category as Indra, but like, we have Silver Ash, we have Chen, we have Helgar, we have Blaze. Who do we have else? I think it's another one. I can't think about it now. Yeah. Play Scotty, we have Scotty, Thorns is an out yet, and these guys are like 5 stars. So yeah, there's like 5, um, 5 6 star guards in the game. Well, if you check here, Defender 6 stars, you're not out yet. Hoshiguma, Neon, those are like the 3 blocks, and then you have Saria, which is the healer, but that's all. And Neon is in like an exclusive, you didn't sound for Neon. Basically, Hoshiguma is the only one. If you didn't pull Neon, you're not going to be able to get her until her banner comes back. So, yeah. 
uh, Volca will be a little more useful, even though how, how many, how good most of the defenders are in the game. She won't be bad. She'll be pretty, uh, definitely very good. Uh, Indra is good, but she won't stand out. That's the thing. I'm gonna close out the video here. Um, I wish you guys the best vlog and stuff. Uh, do your recruits, they're very important. Free units, it's basically free, free certificates. So yeah, what could go wrong? That's it, I'll close out the video here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.